What is up and I welcome each and every one of you back to a brand new Civ 6 or Civilization 6 video. We're back at it again playing Persia on Deity difficulty led by Cyrus. That is right, we got this guy. He's He looks alright, I don't really like... Uh, his look is pretty neat, but what is neat about him is he has my favorite unique unit, the Immortal. It's pretty much a swordsman with two range and a ranged attack. Satrapies is pretty nice. Fall of Babylon gives me a lot of movement speed, but all in all, Persia is looking absolutely incredible. And before we really get started with the video i want to thank you guys so much if you have about two eyes and one brain cell you can see that we have achieved our goal of 10,000 subscribers thank you so much the face reveal video i promised is going to come out next week but i'm also going to spice it up a little and we're also going to do a q and a type face reveal if that does make any sense i want to grow a little bit in pasagrade first so let me know down below in the comments what questions you have for me obviously within reason if you if there's a question that i don't want to answer i'm not going to answer it but i'm going to be trying to answer as many as possible so do let me know down below what you want to know about me. I don't want to attack you yet. Let's move up through there. About to grow and pass a guard. They cool. When do we get this tile? We're going to get that a tile soon. So the goal for right now is we get foreign trade, which is nice. But, ooh, we can't let that scout back, get back. The goal right now is to, oh, there's a city-state. Nice, so we even get a free envoy towards Brussels. So the goal is we're going to go for immortals, get four or five immortal units, and then blitz the enemy cities wherever we can find them. Let's try to kill that scout. I'm hoping he moves in through there. Oh, no. All right, then. I don't know if Brussels will kill him. He probably will. There it is. Yeah, it sucks. Well, I was going to go take that guy out. And also, follow me on twitch.tv slash for civlifer1. Same thing for Twitter. And we're going to go God King. We're making nine gold per turn and faith. Wow. Uh, we do have to kill three barbarians for bronze working, so we're definitely going to get started on that. Let's go craftsmanship now for a gauge, and right after this warrior, you're going to stay fortified. I don't know how we spawn barbarians, but um, kind of confused right now, but you're going to kill yourself on me. That's fine. You're unfortified now. You should be easy pickings. Very good. Let's hit next turn. This guy might be in danger, though. And But there's a lot of barbarians. As we do get the Sanguine Pact, we're immediately going to get him right now. A free vampire unit is going to be very, very strong later on. You get a promotion. So we're going to give you Tortoise, though, I think. Our Immortals are strong enough to deal with any units on their own. It's really just the... As we're going to be getting bronze working soon. It's really just the... Um, village now and then probably start as we find crater lake and then we could start on uh, building our immortal units and our encampments and stuff like that let's go ahead and move down south over there uh, lots of good spaces to settle i don't want to settle uh explore near brussels how many natural wonders are we going to find none of them are any good quite honestly as we do meet our first civilization up there let's see who they are they're actually right beside us too holy crap there's bronze working the aztecs Ooh, that's gonna be tough i like it i like it a lot the Zulu as well. There's Shaka, two militaristic city state. Did he already take out one of Shaka's cities? No. No, he didn't. So is that like the colors look different? They are different. So look uh we're gonna have to buy it. Oof. Uh we have mining, so we could put it over there, I think. There we go. And that'll also be very close to Montezuma, so that's nice. Uh, so we could settle near these uh, natural wonders for Aeroscore. We could go for like um Montezuma or Shaka. Huh. Explore down south. I'm mm, the Aztecs could be nice to deal with. Are pretty strong right now. They're gonna spam their unique unit. And he's starting to like me, so I could definitely get a joint war going. So Wow, I was not expecting that. That is absolute bullshit. He should not have killed me right there. But apparently he did, so you're just gonna move down there. We'll finish off the encampment. Get a warrior. Ironworking just it was, okay, it's going to be pretty expensive to get. But let's move there. It's going to be a pretty decent Petra City as well. That's nice. It's a lot of arrow score. Let's go ahead and start building up a warrior in there. You're going to go and try to loop around, I guess. Get some more exploration going. They got that encampment, which is nice. Moving through there. Stay fortified. Perfect. That's a really good Petra City one. Yeah, that's a really good one. Uh, we do get fertility rights, so my hunch was correct. We're going to easily be able to go and get all the iron tiles we need. Moving through there, we'll even be able to trade a lot of iron. We don't need all that iron, quite honestly. So moving up there. Cool. We're going to go for encampment trading right after that. Can we get open borders, man? Okay, can we make friends? Nice. And then let's get open borders, and I'll give you like uh, 10 gold. Chop that. How long until the Great General? Ancient Era ends in the next turn. That's fine. There's a Classical Era. Uh, Mon uh, Shaka doesn't have a lot of military strength. And you'll look at that. Montezuma even got that, so we were fine. Uh, we'll keep that. Ten turns till an Immortal, and then we can actually upgrade... Ah, oh, some of them right now. Cool. Upgrading the Immortal wouldn't have given me a Golden Age. It would have been close, but it wouldn't have done it. Uh, we couldn't even anyways. We're going to go Free Inquiry now. 
Moving through there next turn, and then civic wise, we're just gonna go for military tradition. Ah, flanking bonuses are nice, and then we could go political philosophy. And then here, I'm. Do, can we still get suzerainty of Brussels? We still can. It's actually interesting. Let's go ahead and uh, take Amani and move her to Brussels then. Cool. We'll hit next turn. A few turns are gonna be able to get a more immortal. So four immediate units with a great general should be more than enough. Fuck you, Portugal. Genuinely hope you don't make it out of this game alive. Someone's already declaring war on them. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If we declare one, then we could potentially steal that city, huh? All right, move there. Upgrade. Let's try because they do obviously. Ooh, ooh. Brussels isn't looking good, is it? Gorgo's the one. I like that. Hey, Gorgo. Hey, Gorgo. That's a pretty interesting war you've got going on over there. Would be an absolute shame if somebody declared one you and stole that. Uh, let's go writing now. I think. Let's hit next turn. Uh, no, they're not doing a lot now. Let's see, Brussels. Oh, yeah, they're never mind. They're not doing well at all. But uh, cool. We're going to have our fourth immortal soon. We're going to get the great general soon as well. Yep. Great general is coming in less than four turns. Iron for all that. I'm going to take it. Cool. And then we'll declare war on Shaka. We'll even be able to buy a battering ram, I think. So you're going to stay fortified. You're all going to move up. We're going to try to take out Nobama first, I think. Nobama is, is Preslav. Is Preslav their suzerain? No, that's really good. All right, then. Uh, we've already got an exploration of Brussels. What does Preslav require? Yeah, I think. So moving through there, moving through there, we'll hit next turn. No bomber, they're also going to get Itamanaki. If I wait, I could get Itamanaki for myself. Let's go Irrigation, move in there, move in there, move in there, move in there. And then we're going to get the Great General in about two turns, and then I think we declare war. Let's get the Great General right now. Sun Tzu, perfect. Transfer him to Bactria. Uh, you're going to now cross, move, move. And uh, we'll be able to get a trade route in the next few turns, and then immediately blitz uh, Obama. Cool, we might even be able to steal a settler if we can. Move like that, move like that, move like that, and then you're going to go ahead and move up there. And then you're going to stay fortified, we'll hit next turn, see what they do. Uh, the settlers are moving in down south, Obama's a really strong city. They're passing by, chill out bro, it's just a prank. Uh, okay, move in there, move in there. You can move there, stay fortified, and the next turn, we could declare war in the next turn. He doesn't like me, that's a denouncement. He doesn't have a strong military, though, or a unique unit early on, so you're going to move up there. Research-wise now, we are going to go for, I think, probably um, currency. Preslav, there it is. Suzerainty of Preslav will give me exploration, and there is all their cities. Cool. I could declare war right now, and I think I will... Quickly, uh, draw an ongoing war against Shock. What would it take? One iron. Oh, wow, that actually worked out, huh? Okay, then, so you have 30... Yeah, we absolutely obliterate these guys. So I want them to finish Etzimanaki, though. Attack. The Great General will give us 5 movement speed for, like, 10 turns. So we're just going to blitz their biggest cities right now. I think their capital's going to be over there. That's fine. That's cool. Wow, that's really cool. Nice, then... Okay. You're going to take that out. Nice. It's really good because I get extra combat strength for every unit I kill. Move across, and then I could take the city immediately, but I want right now, you can move across, ranged attack, kill him. I want to kill as many units as I can. Attack, attack, city dies in the next few turns. Cool, 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 cool. Let's hit next turn. I don't know what the spearman with the settler. Okay, he's going to be an idiot. That's fine. That's a free settler, actually. That could help loyalty issues that might arise. And Preslav is helping us as well. That was a really smart idea. Uh, we're not, they're not going to get Etimananki, but I think that's fine for now. Uh, finish him off. Good. Now, I can't move Amani. This city's just going to rebel. We can't stop it. But is that going to be... Ulundi's their capital, and it's over there. Hmm. The five movement speed. I don't know how long we have it for. Uh, it should be no more than a few more turns. That should surround the city, and then we could begin attacking. I think I'm just going to range attack for now. At the very least, until we can get into a good enough position to start melee attack. And just weaken the city. Plunder that, actually, for money. Uh, how long till the city rebels? One turn, actually. So I think I'm going to move you there, and then you're also going to range attack. And then this vampire here is just going to pillage. You're going to move up there. And you can pillage and then move in, I guess. Stay asleep. Next turn it. We'll take you Lundy, and then we'll take Nobama, and then it should be fine. There it is. Pillage, and then move. Uh, you are... Okay, let's continue attacking now. You're going to ranged attack... Actually, no, 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 no. You're going to move across there. We still have the movement speed and the great general... So range attack, they're not building walls, and we can now start melee attacking for good damage. Cool. 
City dies next turn, and then we can come back and immediately blitz Nobama. I'll even use the Vampire to attack it, actually. It's looking like a weak city. Nope, not with them attacking me, though. That's not good. All right, I can... one. Well, this dude here can pillage and attack. We want political philosophy, so do that, and then finish him off. Cool. Uh, he doesn't like me because I have luxuries he doesn't have. That's fine. Let's keep the city now. Good. The loyalty's looking good as well. And now I can move in these guys. Attack the city. And then you are actually first going to go finish him off for extra combat strength. And then you're going to kill the city. Very nice. Okay, then city's still rebelling for some reason. Six turns. Uh, five turns. I We have to take that city up quick then. Uh, let's get a monument. We, we, we can always move Pingala. And I think I'll do that. We'll move Pingala right now to Nobama. Nice. And you're going to go ahead and uh, let's try to get some luxuries, actually. Jade's looking good. Repair that. You're going to do that. And uh, we can immediately move on Umugulu, whatever that city's name is soon. Let's hit next turn now. Uh, okay, I don't know what happened, but uh, all right, that's fine. And city dies probably next turn if I had to assume. And then Yulundi here should be fine. Let's hit next turn again. Don't know who he's going to attack. He's going to attack the scout. That's fine. City's surrounded. It's not going to heal now. Very nice. And Chinguita's going to help me out a little bit as well. So let's now go ahead. What resources founded? Horses. That's fine. You're going to attack, and then you're going to blitz him, and then you're going to make him call you daddy. Perfect. So that should be perfect right there. Close to a promotion. You're going to heal, actually, and then the rest of you are fine. Let's go get that granary. Repair that. We'll move on to the last city, and then we're good after that. Gorgo likes me. Okay, okay, I'm a good Spartan. Hey, hey, I'm a good Spartan. You already know what that means. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you get a promotion now. So we're going to move you. Only three movement speed now. We're going to go battle cry now. You're going to move up. You two should be more than enough to deal with that guy. And then you can continue trying to get experience. You do the same, and then we're hopefully going to be able to move on to the Aztecs soon. He doesn't like me because I'm standing on my shores and not looking beyond or some, like, deep shit that a 15-year-old girl would post on her Instagram or something. So there's that. Let's attack that guy. It's going to be a free settler to take as well. And then you're going to move through there. Uh, you're going to move there and, I guess, pillage and attack next turn. Let's go drama and poetry. Uh, you stay fortified and then you're very... Yeah, you can kill him. Cool. And then here now we're just going to continue settler spamming, I think. Yeah, and then you can get a city up there. And then envoy-wise... We're going to try... I, I, we can't get Chinguita, actually. I just... Let's try to get that Hattuso. Let's get more science. Nice. And then you there are just going to repair that. We'll hit next turn as we get Feudalism now. Okay. The Archer did 15 damage. That's a lot of damage. And that's a lot of Barbarians. Holy crap. That's not going to be fun to deal with. Uh, but you're going to move there. There. Then we can start melee attacking. Melee attacking. And melee attack. I think we take it now. Perfect. There, the, there go the Zulu. He'll live on in my nightmares. It's fine. We do get a free settler, though, and we have man-at-arms to deal with now, so that is going to be an issue. I think we should still be fine. Let's get that. No, no, no. We're going to get a golden age. I wanna, I'm going to wait eight turns to get my unique improvement. Trade route has been plundered. Well, that sucks. In any case, start range attacking. Move there. I want to move everybody within range of this guy. You're going to cross the river. We're going to try to blitz that encampment, actually. Get me a granary in that city. And then... Okay, yeah, they did take Hattusa. So let's go ahead now and put a point into Valletta. Let's try to get Suzerainty of Valletta to help out. Back here we can come. Let's hit next turn. Let's see what they do. Uh, you see, we actually get a good bonus against these guys for some reason. But uh, yeah, you're going to attack. Nope, you. Move in the city and now you can attack him. Cool. But I'm going to use this guy actually to attack you. Uh, you guys are going to back out there and then... Okay, you don't have the great general bonus right now. So you're just going to stay fortified, and then let's get a campus if we can. Plus two is really nice. Good, and then you're going to go settle that city down there. Oh, that's not good. Okay, they should finish off that slinger easy, though. Uh, nice, that's not good. That's a lot of archers. We're, yeah, they have a massive army coming in. we got to deal with that. Might not be able to go for the Aztecs, actually. We might have to wait for later on. How the hell did you not deal with that guy in one turn? What are you guys doing right now? Absolute fucking inbreds. All right, I need to just get a lot of money right now. Yes, that's enough for a... Not enough for an immortal. Never mind. Ten more iron. Attacked. We'd have actually a lot, especially if we fortify as well. Um, You're going to see if you can survive. You're going to do that. Golden Age now. Ooh, Montezuma's in a dark age. That's really nice for me. Let's go for inquiry. We'll move you in there. Uh, Civic-wise now, we'll go Theology. Governor title, we're going to go for a second Vampire unit. I know, insane, crazy. Where do we get it? Over there. Perfect. 35 combat strength. It's going to be a lot once we get the Man-at-Arms, though. 
We're going to need a good amount of gold, so I think maybe going for mercenaries right now. Upgrade to man-at-arms and then continue the war. I think this is probably going to be great scientists. This is going to be city center, I would assume. I have no idea, though. Let's see. Okay, city center and great scientist, yeah. Let's actually make a beeline now for mercenaries so we can upgrade our guys for cheap. Have eight land units, shouldn't be the worst. And, uh, okay, we'll do that. You stay fortified. You're going to move there. You're going to have to back out, actually. And then you stay fortified. You are all going to fortify as well. You're going to stay asleep. Fortify that. And then you're just going to stay fortified over there. You're going to go settle that city. It's not going to be the best city for now, but we can make it work. Let's get ourselves a granary. Well, hit next turn. How many cities do we have by turn 90? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And this is about to be 10 cities by turn 90. And really quick, if you have enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton. And uh, yeah, leave a comment down below and follow me on twitch.tv slash civlifer1. Back to the video. Deal with these barbarians. I have no idea when they're going to stop spawning units. It's just, it's just pissing me off right now. This is just, how do you, how do you spawn so many units? It just doesn't make sense. All right, attack him. Uh, you're going to promote now to battle cry. I think we got to go battle cry everywhere. And the rest of these guys, just continue doing what you've been doing the entire time. Holy crap. Uh, where's the vampire that's... Okay, you're going to move there and heal. Then production-wise, we'll get the amphitheater. Settler-wise, let's go ahead and move this guy, actually. Go and settle. Um... Don't even know. Have fun. Uh, so you stay asleep. Next turn, that. Good. You want money for that? That's fine. I do need money to upgrade these guys when I can. Okay, cool. Range attack him, and you can range attack him. You are going to move up one. You are going to move up one. We should have upgraded that guy, actually. Uh, let's see what happens here. Montezuma's got a pretty strong military, though. All right, there's engineering. I think we're finally going to be able to... I, I'm going to kill him. Kill him and then try looping around. Uh, cool. You're going to range attack this guy. You're going to promote now to battle cry. And you're probably dead unless I do something. Ah, oh, crap. I, I wish I saw that guy first. Uh, yeah, you're dead. Ugh, fuck. Ooh, that's good, Bodica. Bodica's gonna be good. Converting all these man-at-arms to my control is gonna be insane, actually. Let's hit next turn. Might lose an immortal, but we'll gain, like, 50 man-at-arms right now. That's a crossbowman. Oh, my God. What is going on? All right, can you move there? Cross the river. They got crossbows now, too. We're going to try backing out now. Everybody back out. You're going to back over there, I think. We'll try to get as many as I can. I want to try to get that crossbow, too. We lost one, so I guess it's not the end of the world. But let's go research. Montezuma's in a dark age. Don't forget that. I'll settle right on top of that. Good. Fine. Whatever. Uh, get me a monument now, and then we'll hit next turn. Where are the barbarians going to move? That's the question. Where are they going to... Crap. Okay. Ah, oh, if we could just kill this guy and then move Bodica. Hmm. Guy's not gonna die. Okay. No idea. You do that. You're gonna move in like that. Move in through there. We'll start on the offensive right now. The fortification should help me deal with him. Oh, wow. Wow. How? Where'd this... I swear I'm gonna quit the game. Oh, my God. <sighs> All right, then. You're gonna move there. Great General should help somewhat. The campment's down there somewhere. You do have a promotion, so you can move him there. You don't get a promotion. Um, you're going to have to back out now. Let's hit next turn. Please, please stop spawning units. Oh my god, stay fortified. He doesn't even have iron. He doesn't even have iron, man. Come on, let me just deal with these guys quickly. Just quickly. Finally, more reinforcements. Let's go get that camp up there. Civic-wise, we'll get civil service. Production-wise, here, we'll get ourselves another builder, I guess. And then over here, we'll get ourselves a campus if we can. Sure, get actually, get me the Petra first. I should have gotten that. Yeah, get me the Petra up there. That's a really good Petra city. And then trade-wise, go to that city. Envoy-wise, continue going for Preslav now. Get them on our side. Now, let's hit next turn now. Can we please deal with these guys? Please let me deal with these guys. Oh my god, I think we're finally going to be able to deal with these guys. Finish them off. Finish them off. Good. Why is there another crossbowman over there? Oh, I don't get it. Can you stop spawning these units, please? Just five minutes. That's all I'm asking for. Five minutes. Let me take the... Oh, you know what? We got to bribe these guys. I'm not dealing with this. Not dealing with this. 600 gold. It's so worth it. I have to. 
have to. The Montezuma's just waiting for me to take out his cities. He's just begging me to take out his cities. Please, just give me all your gold. I'll give you all my iron, too. Just all of it. All your iron. Take it all. Thank you. We're just gonna we're just gonna bribe these guys now that we know where they are. Twenty turns it should be enough. Let's go sailing for one turn, and then here we're just gonna get a kit. This is so fucking bullshit right now. Like I swear to God, why? I just don't get. I have to get a mod to make these barbarians more manageable. I do because they shouldn't be spawning units if I killed their settler. They really shouldn't be spawning units if I just killed their scout that they sent after me. We're even gonna have to trade. Oh wow, nobody has any money, do they? Now, all right then. So everyone's just gonna back out. We're gonna wait till they convert to a actual city state. So everyone here. You're going to transfer there, and then we're going to prepare to take out the Aztecs. That, that's This is just ridiculous at this point. I don't understand how this game is supposed to be fair and balanced. I don't. I really don't. The Barbarians are so stupid. Look at this. I complete, I've almost completed. I've destroyed how many units now? Like, how many units have I destroyed right now, and they're still coming after me? This is so dumb. Everybody who's, like, semi-decently healed go up there. We'll upgrade this Immortal, and then we're just going to get started. We're just going to move everybody up there. You're even going to upgrade to a Siege Tower. All right, here now you're just going to go get a campus, a so plus three, I'll take it. And then you're going to move there, stay asleep now. Uh, here now you're just going to back out a few more turns, and I think we should be okay. And then, yeah, 600, oh, I forgot I need 600 gold. Oh my god, all right then, let's do that then. You're going to stay fortified, not skip, I said fortify. He has a lot of science though, so he might have some pike and shots, but that really shouldn't be too difficult, especially if I have oligarchy and he doesn't, and a great general. Let's keep going right now. Let's see what he decides to do. Telling these guys to piss off is probably the best idea I have right now. You guys are all just going to start moving up. You all know where to go. And it's time, I think, to start moving these guys up as well. I just need pure gold. Nobody has any... Okay, well, I need your money. What would it take? 20 iron and open borders. And cotton. Oh my god, just give me pure gold, you fucking inbred. Please, just give me pure gold. Yes, that's all you have to do. Tell me how much money you want, and I'll give it to you. Man, I don't understand why they have this new launcher. I truly don't. Ever since they added it, up, to, it's it's just everything's been crashing every five minutes. I just, the game keeps crashing. Launcher's not good. I don't know what they're trying to do with it. Are they, tr are they trying to get me to buy their other games? Listen, I'm not going to buy Bioshock Infinite if you can't even make a decent-ass launcher. I promise you that. The other thing, Barbarians, can we get can we get something on Barbarians? Please? Anything? Just anything. Just any... Just, like, even tell me. Be like, yo, this is how you deal with Barbarians. Because before it used to be, if a scout gets to your territory, they build four or five units and you deal with them. They did... They, that's, they, they've gotten, like, two rounds of ten units right now. This is ridiculous. Absolutely dumb. All right, then, where's the knighter? Over there. I need a builder now. Okay. Let's go for... Let's just go for naval tradition. Yeah, just on, boys. We should be, at the very least, decent enough, I guess. We should be uh, good enough, hopefully, to just take Teotihuacan fairly quickly. Let's move in, these guys. Let's move in, everybody, right now. These man-at-arms with, the with the siege tower should be more than enough. Didn't even need a siege tower at this point, quite honestly. Uh, move in the siege tower. Move this guy in. You'll move across there. You move across there. We'll be able to attack with a good number of these guys soon. Oh, my God. All right, then. Pass the guard there now. Get me a library. We'll go for Brussels as well. How many cities? We have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we have a decent amount of cities. They're in a dark age, correct? Okay, then. So how long do I have to take them out? 11 to 31 turns, approximately. That's fine. You're going to stay there so this guy gets more movement speed. Uh, you're going to move up there, and then you have a lot of combat strength as well. So skip your turn. They're going to continue attacking the swordsman. That's fine by me. All right, then. Good. Move there. We have 10 turns, so move in the siege tower. Move in the general. You can move there. You can move up there. And then let's start. This city should be easy to take out. Yes. We don't do a lot of damage to the walls, though, which kind of sucks. But city should die in the next few turns. They do have man-at-arms. Huh? You're telling me that encampment killed us? Oh my god, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. Come on. You're re yeah, that encampment killed us. That encampment killed Wow. Wow, that's just absolutely insane right there. I'm absolutely flabbergasted. Uh, this guy apparently doesn't work with the siege tower. Should have just kept the battering ram, quite honestly. I need, the, I need a battering ram. Apparently battering rams can only take it. Oh, I can't get one, though. Oh my god. All right, then, you're just going to stay asleep, then. Let's hope these guys don't one-shot us next turn as well. Stay fortified. 
I don't know why this... You should be able to make use of that. I don't know why, but let's just attack with you. And, oh, that's Renaissance walls now, I think. It's not medieval walls. It's It says ancient walls. They're building other walls, though. All right, we won. Uh, that's cool, I guess. You're going to move there. We're going to back out there so we can promote you to Tortoise. And then you can move there. And then hopefully... Okay, there we go. I think we take the city this turn. Can we? No. We can fortify, and then you can pillage that while fortified. And we're going to move in the reinforcements. All right, we'll hit next turn. Again. Oh my god, we're not making peace with you. Fuck off. Okay, we'll go there, and then we'll immediately go for... I think Aztec... Ah, Tusa. We'll go for a Tusa right afterwards. I might, if this city is going to rebel, I'm just going to pillage it, though. I'm just saying. Uh, you're close to another promotion, so we'll do that for sure. You're going to attack, though. Can you kill the city? Yes, you can. Okay, then. Keep it. We're positive loyalty now. Now, we do have a little bit of time. We're probably going to be in at least a normal age. At least I would assume... Uh, so get me... I don't even know what to do in this city. Just get me walls or something. Wait until we can do something. Pair the campus. Uh, move in... Uh, okay, Siege Tower can move in there. Yes, finally. Holy crap. Uh, move in like that. Attack with him. You're gonna fortify and pillage that. Musketmen should be great to have, actually. I'm going to go see if you can harvest that. I think the city... They have a ballista now. It's not a very good one, but it's still a ballista nonetheless. All right, what is this? Oh, I think it's because vampires count as classical area units, but that's why the siege tower isn't working on them. That actually makes a lot of sense. Uh, no, it doesn't. What? What am I talking about? Siege towers work with anything. Yeah, it's friendly melee unit. No idea why, but I guess that is a rule or something. Research-wise, let's go ahead and go for metal casting. And then where can we... Okay, we have like one source of niter. That's it. So we're going to have to make use of it. Okay, let's see if we can find another, though. Niter, six results. Can we get a settler over there? No. We have some over there, though. We're going to get a builder in this city as well. So we can get two sources of niter, upgrade into some musketmen, and then we also have, as we get that guy, we also have the policy that makes uh, buying musketmen cheaper as well. So you're going to stay asleep. You're going to move there. Musketmen and bombards should allow us to blitz the Aztecs completely and just destroy them. Should be more... Oh, actually, okay, okay. All right, then you're going to go get that, I would hope. Come on, come on, game. Two turns until Rebellion. We should be able to finish off at two, so like now. Uh, I don't want to pillage with you because... Okay, let's see. Can you... No, no, no. We're going to have to use this guy. It's going to pillage, but I can't because then I wouldn't be able to kill the city. Uh, you're going to attack then. All right, and then can you finish him off? Ah! Yes, we can. Holy crap. All right, these guys like me now. Let's keep the city. I don't know if there's... I don't think there's another civilization towards the northeast, though, so that's fine. You're going to do that. And now I think what we're going to do is we're going to wait a little bit. Um, yeah, we're going to wait right now until we can get Niter and then upgrade these guys to Musketmen. Uh, Medieval Affairs is going to give us a policy, and we can switch policies after that. Oh, yay, more barbarians to the north. We're able to blitz the... Yeah, the Aztecs should not be a big problem. They don't even seem to have any Niter anyways. Yeah, we should be fine. Dedication, they're in a normal age still. Let's go for Monumentality. Teotihuacan now is at four turns. We're going to have to move in uh, you. It's fine. And then we'll move in policies when we really need to. Okay, it's positive now. It's good. Move in like that. I'm going to have to get this guy as well. We're going to have to get another great general. So get that, actually. And instead, you're actually going to go for uh, encampment training right now. How the hell is that guy losing loyalty? What? That doesn't make sense. I don't even care. Oh, they're going to take Zronka, aren't they? All these barbarians, I don't even care anymore. Oh my god. All right, let's, um, you're gonna move up there. You're gonna move there and get that, and then we're gonna wait for metal casting, I think. Yeah, you are going to go there and get me some money and a free envoy. This guy's just gonna be sent to Brussels, and we gotta get all those cities. But uh, we'll do that now, cool, and then we're gonna go for a 50% gold discount. I think we're gonna do that instead of that, and instead of feudal contract, we're gonna go 50% resource discount. So these guys are cheaper to upgrade in every sense of the word. We're gonna do that now. And how much do they cost? Uh, 85 gold and 10 niter. Wow, that's cheap. So we'll upgrade some of these guys. We'll go exploration now. You're going to get the campus because there's really... Yeah, it's really the best place you can get one. Actually going to get walls, I think. Just in case. And we should be fine. We'll get started on the other worlds. Continue going for a little bit longer, though. Okay, then. All right, the Jow is just so far ahead. Wow. All right, then you're going to move up through there. I'm trying to get a Renaissance Great General. Um, you're going to stay in the city and actually continue attacking the defenses. Yes. And you're going to get that now. And then you're going to go trade route to Obama. 
and you're gonna go and get me a mine up there for production perfect go there iron mine and i think th man my capital sucks holy crap too bad i don't care uh what if i just get trade my niter away i i need 800 i need 450 gold i don't think i'd be able to get that at all you know what let's make a peace with montezuma and then get a like a super declaration of war and uh, we'll get the extra movement speed in the next video all right we'll declare war on him and then we'll go ahead and uh trade knight or what would you give me for that no what about diplo favor like 50 for okay we'll see though i need 200 something i i can't do it like, you know what we're going to do? Because I want to be able to upgrade into Bombards. That's cheaper. So we'll go Astrology. We'll do one last turn. And then next turn, we're going to trade away and try to get 50 gold, I think. Good. And then 10 turns from now, as who rebelled? Something happened. Who's losing loyalty? You are. Yeah, you're losing a lot of loyalty, actually. Um, We'll be able to re-blitz that city, though. And really quick, Montezuma here. Not Montezuma, actually. Let's go for somebody else. There. Jow. Jow. Jow, Jow, Jow. 100 gold. For no niter, but uh, however much Diplo favor you want. It's not as if I'm going to keep it anyways. Good. So you can now move there. We can now go ahead and get ourselves not a sec... Oh, no, I made a mistake. Okay, what about all the horses? Now we can go ahead and get ourselves two trebuchets, upgrade them into bombards, and by that time we should have more than enough to go ahead and blitz at Zakpolu, Tenochtitlan, and Melancholy, and then we should be fine. Now, can we get any luxuries before we end off the video? No. I'm going to end it right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, next time we come back, we should be able to. This guy's going to be a city state. We'll go finish off the Aztecs and then see if we can move west. But this mountain range seems to have other ideas. We're not getting that city. And um, yeah, peace. Huge shout out to my members Cash Christian, Ben Ombi, John Blair, Jackson Perez, Polaris Gaming, Jeff Utzler, Kim Cosmos, and a really special shout out to my Oh My God subscribers, Robert and Overflow of amenities.